there is almost no worries on viruses, diseases, and anthracnose whatsoever. Sometimes I see some tobacco buttworm, but that is not really problematic until now. But it is very easy to control aphids and powdery mildew. This concept of Jadam system with note, it is the same species that we grow in the field. And now we are into second harvest. The first harvest was completed and I think we'll still do a lot more with this time. I haven't tilled this soil for about 3 years. In the past, this place was filled with chemical pesticides and fertilizer. Hello everyone, my name is Yang Sang Cho and welcome to Jadam. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to control anthracnose and powdery mildew with JS and JWA which is powerful enough to replace conventional chemical pesticides. This method can reduce the input cost up to 95% and also it is a great alternative solution for PLS, the positive list system in South Korea. It is not our insistence. In fact, we have been working with National Science Department of South Korea for more than 3 years. It has been proved by the research that these solutions are very effective against anthracnose and many other diseases. We have made a report about the result and now it is published on paper of our government to ease the struggles of the farmers. Also, there are no chemical pesticide residue found in JS and JWA. The ingredients that we used in here are also allowed in USDA. It is officially recognized by the Department of Agriculture of South Korea. And the law mentioned it is eligible to use JS and JWA for organic crop production. Most of the products in the market for controlling anthracnose are very expensive. However, as you can see, it can be manufactured with very affordable cost with very powerful effects. The sulfur's melting point is around 120 Celsius degree, but I have invented a method that could melt sulfur without heating on fire. The manufacturing process is very simple. Just by adding caustic soda, sulfur, and some more ingredients, you can have surprisingly effective natural disinfectant. Let me briefly show you how it's done. As you saw in the video, the whole process is very simple and easy. The more detailed videos are uploaded on our YouTube channel and on our website. We highly recommend farmers to make their own inputs which enables farmers to thrive in this harsh period of time. Now, let me move to JWA. This is a wetting agent or also known as emulsifying agent made with natural canola oil and potassium hydroxide which also can be made without heating on fire. It plays most essential role for all pesticide use. On the other hand when it is used in large quantity it can also be natural pesticide. So let me show you how it is made.
you have just watched how to make natural wedding agent for pesticides. As you can see, the procedure is very simple. Wedding agents for farming is a bit expensive, but if you make your own, it costs only 60 cents per liter. This wedding agent can be also used as dishwashing soap. I believe that JS and JWA is the best solution for treating anthracnose and many other diseases. You'll see the difference when you compare with other products. With this ratio of JS and JWA, you can control anthracnose. You can reduce the amount of JWA for powdery mildew as well. Mix all this with soft water then spray during early morning. You will be able to see the anthracnose stops. With this technology, you can enter the whole new era of ultra low cost agriculture. This is inside of our greenhouse where we farm chilies. It is the same species that we grow in the field. And now we are into second harvest. The first harvest was completed and I think we'll still do a lot more with this time. I haven't tilled this soil for about three years. In the past, this place was filled with chemical pesticides and fertilizers, but as soon as we came in, we used JMS to purify the soil and use all the Jada method and then as you can see the result it is perfect this field is an organic certified never used any conventional chemical fertilizer also, it has been about 5 years without tilling the soil. As time passes, it is growing bigger and higher than previous period. That being said, also harvest increases year after year. Apart from Jadam's input, the other secret to this result is simple as well. We do not till the soil and we plant chili on the same bed every year. Also, steel pipes are permanently fixed in one spot to hold the chilies. And we just spread compost on the surface by uncovering the landscape fabric. The detailed information about these are uploaded on our website, so please go ahead and watch it. Most important thing is irrigating JMS before transplanting. Then irrigate diluted JMS with one to two weeks interval. When the growth is not good enough, then I add food waste liquid fertilizers, which is rich in nitrogen. These chilies will grow higher than human height at the end of the season and the yield is approximately three times more than conventional method. I harvest around 120 chilies per one plant. This system allows farmers to have about 500 grams of chili powder per tree. There are a lot of skeptics about the yield and the taste of organic products. However, it is not true. The yield will increase rapidly when organic method is applied correctly. And there is no problem on pest and disease control. All problems can be solved by using JWA, JS, and Ginkgo extracted water, which is JHS. There is almost no worries on viruses, diseases, and anthracnose whatsoever. Sometimes I see some tobacco buttworm, but that is not really problematic until now. But it is very easy to control aphids and powdery mildew. This concept of Jadam system with no tillage and high yield method is actually very new compared to conventional method, but it is way better. Another thing is, since I'm not tilling the soil, which means less work and no heavy use of machinery, which leads saving fuel and less carbon dioxide. It is not so difficult to learn these methods and techniques, so please try this method for your own good. Thank you. The video that you have just watched is our organic farm in Daejeon in South Korea. As you could see, the yield is a lot more than conventional method. Also, stable growth of plants with organic method. I have been dedicating this work for more than 30 years. And now, we have about 70,000 farmers practicing Jadam in Korea. Our goal is to promote ultra-low cost farming. One nation will fail if farmers does not have the right of the technology in agriculture. 
It is even becoming harder for farmers to survive after FDA and all the agreements and after COVID-19. I hope this technology could help everyone to have the power to bring back rights of the farmers. This book was written by myself about organic farming. There is about 40,000 people who have read this book just in Korea. It became famous and we translated it into different languages. Also, it is available through Amazon.com and also in Google Playbook. I believe this book will be helpful for those who are curious. Thank you for watching.